This is just an amazing story. You couldn't write a fictional story like this story. Two doctors who fall in love, decide to have a child. They love each other to death. They have this child, this beautiful child. And then at age two, they learn that he has this rare disease that they're told they cannot cure. And then they decide to quit everything and try and cure this disease. There's just no story I've ever heard like that. And this is a real story. Hi, I'm Andrea Nix Fine. And I'm Sean Fine. We're the directors of Life According to Sam, which is in the U.S. documentary competition in the 2013 Sundance Film Festival. Life According to Sam is a story about a family, a family who, whose son at age two was diagnosed with one of the rarest diseases in the world called progeria. Progeria is a rapid aging disease. And at that time, they asked the doctor, what what can we do for our son? And they, the doctor said to them, you can't do anything. You need to enjoy your life because at 13, your son will probably die of a heart attack or stroke. Both of Sam's parents, Leslie and Scott, are doctors and they decided to do something about this and tackle this disease head on. They quit their jobs, they gave up everything to try to figure out how to save their son, how to prolong his life and find a cure. Our film picks up when Leslie and Scott are on the cusp of basically finding the first treatment for progeria, which could add years to their son's life. The film is also about, you know, what is aging in these kids is aging in all of us. So as we are watching um, the mother spearhead the scientific discovery, the past she's on and trying to find a cure, it's, it's, it's interesting because this, the ripple effect of what can happen with this could be something that affects us all. It's a very intimate film. This isn't a film with hundreds of interviews of people. This is, this is this family's story. It is a family telling you their story. I want people to think about their own lives when they leave life according to Sam. I want them to think about the choices they've made in their lives. I want them to think about themes like fate and family and commitment and sacrifice. Uh, those are the things that come up in the film. And I'm hoping that the film um, creates these conversations within people and a dialogue within people about the choices we make.